is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. As you can see I've got a scene already set up here for a Fireman Sam rescue and this story will involve crashes, flames and a Fireman Sam rescue so stay tuned for that. But firstly I wanted to unbox these mini vehicles from Dicky Toys. I bought these in Hamleys a little while ago and these are all Fireman Sam toys. So we have Venus, Neptune and Jupiter and a great picture of Fireman Sam there. And I'll just show you the rest of the box here. And there's a great picture there of Neptune in the water, uh, Jupiter on land and also Venus near the mountains. Okay, so uh, let's take them out of the box and have a closer look, shall we? And here they are, so brightly coloured in mostly red and yellow. So first of all, we have Venus, and Venus is mostly driven by Penny in the Fireman Sam series, and Venus is a water carrier, and this is where the water's contained just here and also it has a large water hose at the top. It has horns here and two lights on either side. And inside the cab, you can just about make out the steering wheel there. Uh, we've got the Fireman Sam badge, brightly colored in red and yellow. And I love the patterns on the wheels. So that's rather cool. And um, let's take a look at it from the front. Uh, silver lights here that almost look like they're lit up so that's that's rather good and also chevron sort of uh, lines on the front there and I think they're repeated at the back that's right and you can see that it's got a little boot there with a handle so they can store equipment in the back there so that is our Venus mini vehicle awesome and next we have Neptune now, Neptune is a vehicle that goes on the water and is mostly used by Ben Hopper and Fireman Sam for rescues at sea. And it has a little motor on the back. It has the uh, controls at the front there and also positions for uh, passengers to stand in at the back and also it has an emergency light on the back and it speeds along very fast in water and here we have Jupiter and Jupiter is a vehicle that Fireman Sam drives most of the time so this is an emergency vehicle and it has lots of features on this particular vehicle so we have an extendable ladder on the top with a basket where the firefighters can stand in the back there that's got the fire hose there uh, also it's got roll up um, shutters on the side there for the firemen to keep all of their fire equipment inside and at the back it's got lights and chevron and also we have fantastic wheels here with uh, red and white patterns on the side and this is the view from the front we've got two wind mirrors you can just about make out the steering wheel there and you've got the lights here and also the horns so that will let everybody know that Jupiter's, Jupiter's coming through when the lights and the, the horns are sounding for an emergency. So that's all three of our emergency vehicles from Fireman Sam. So we had Venus, Neptune and Jupiter. And now it's time for our story guys. It's Tom Thomas's and Mike Flood's day off. They're enjoying a nice afternoon playing Pac-Man, eating hamburgers and donuts.
Elvis Cridlington and Mike Flood have the afternoon off and they're spending it in the cafe playing Pac-Man, eating hamburgers and donuts. What a jolly time. Tom Thomas is practicing his landing and taking off skills in Wallaby Hall on the helipad of the fire station. That's cool, Tom Thomas. What a perfect landing. And where's Fireman Sam? Ha ha, there he is. He's checking out the new mini vehicles, Jupiter, Venus, and also a very special pickup truck that's called Phoenix. They're looking rather awesome, all shiny and new. Look what's happening outside the fire station. Mike Flood and Elvis Cridlington have come out to see what's going on. It appears that two cars are racing around and they're doing wheelies and they're doing donuts and I think there's going to be a crash, they're just going so fast. <gasps> Gasp Elvis and Mike. We have to get help immediately. Fireman Sam saw what happened, so sent off Jupiter immediately to the rescue. Ouch! Oh no, Jupiter's gone so fast, it's knocked over Mike Flood and Elvis Cridlington. They'll need an ambulance straight away. Here it is now. Anne races Elvis and Mike off to the hospital immediately. Meanwhile, the water from Jupiter is just not enough. They need extra help. They need Venus. Here comes Venus now. That should do the trick, says Fireman Sam, and the flames start to disappear. Jolly good show, says Fireman Sam. Nearly there. Phew, that was a relief, says Fireman Sam. Now we need to get these vehicles out of the way so that the emergency vehicles can come in and out of the fire station. I know, we'll need Phoenix. Here comes Phoenix now. So the first car is hauled up and winched up and ready to move off. And the car is taken off to the scrapyard. And the same for the second vehicle. Phew, says Simon Sam, that's a relief. Now I can get my lovely emergency vehicles back into the fire station. And Fireman Sam opens the fire station doors and Venus reverses in and then Jupiter. Cool. But Fireman Sam can't help but think how his two friends are, Elvis Cridlington and Mike Flood. And with that, they're back from the hospital. Fireman Sam is so pleased to see them, and they are fit and well. So Mike Flood challenges Fireman Sam and Elvis Cridlington to a game of Pac-Man in the cafe. Mike wants to be Elvis's top score. So there you go then guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Take care and bye for now. Goodbye.
this Hello. is Tracy here and welcome to the MG Tracy Club. So I have a set of four toys and uh, these are from Topps Toys for ages 3 plus. Let's take a bit of a look shall we? So there's an airport set, um, a police force action squad set, fire and rescue first response and army force set. Let's take a look at the Fire and Rescue Fast Response Emergency Service Vehicles. So we have our Fire and Rescue Fast Response Emergency Helicopter called Whirlybird. We have our emergency fast response motorbike. And our fire rescue van. And our fire rescue emergency services, very fast sports car. Also, we have a moving ladder, very important in fire rescue. And this hat set has two signs as well. So there you go then guys, that's the Fire and Rescue Emergency Services Fire Response Vehicles and do check out the others in this particular set. So we've got an Air Force set, an Army Force set and also a Police Action Squad set. So take care, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out our Facebook page and we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now. Club. So I have a set of four toys and uh, these are from Topps Toys for ages 3 plus. Let's take a bit of a look shall we? So there's an airport set, um, a police force action squad set, fire and rescue first response and army force set. Let's take a look at the airport set. Here we are, and uh, we have a red whirly bird helicopter there, and the one that's just fallen out of the, the packet there is a Boeing jumbo jet. It says Universal Air on the side there, and we've got another whirly bird helicopter and we also have two fighter jets so the first is a red fighter jet complete with wheels and the second is a green fighter jet they are slightly different can you spot the difference? So there you go then guys, that's our airport set of uh, die cast vehicles from Top Toys. 
and don't forget to check out uh, the other vehicles in the other ranges so we've got uh, action squad army force and our fire engine set so they're all very good so check those out as well uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe check out our facebook page and i shall see you very soon take care and bye for now Yeah, welcome to the MG Tracy Club. So I have a set of four toys and uh, these are from Topps Toys for ages 3 plus. Let's take a bit of a look, shall we? So there's an airport set, um, a police force action squad set, fire and rescue first response and army force set. Let's take a look at the Top Toys army force set. Here we are. So we have our Whirlybird helicopter. We have our tank. With wheels on the bottom as well. We have our armor truck force of action and our very fast car of course in the army green it says power king on the top and clash here and of course our chinook style air force helicopter And so we have two signs with this set as well. So a stop sign and a parking sign. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite vehicle. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out our Facebook page and we'll see you very soon. Take care and bye for now. Welcome to the MG Tracy Club. So I have a set of four toys and uh, these are from Topps Toys for ages 3 plus. Let's take a bit of a look shall we? So there's an airport set, um, a police force action squad set, fire and rescue first response and army force set. So let's take a look at the police force action squad. What we have here is a uh, police riot van and it says on the side to protect and to serve. And we have a police vehicle. Very smart too. We have a police motorbike, complete with saddle and stand, and the wheels turn as well. And we also have a Whirlybird helicopter and the last vehicle a hovercraft and it says yacht on the top and it's on wheels as well there's the propellers at the back and all these vehicles are in the police blue and with this particular set we have two signs as well
So there you go then guys, that's the top toys uh, to protect and serve Police Force Action Squad Diecast Metal Collection. Also, check out the other sets within this range. Take care now. Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome to the MG Tracy Club. So I'm really excited to share this toy with you today. It's a Hot Wheels Mattel McDonald's drive through so there's a great picture of it on the front. Uh, two cars are featured but it looks like we've got a red cobra there so that looks exciting and uh, there's a real working playground and also a kid activated drive up window and there's it in more detail on the back there and you can see how it was sold, all the different pieces were sold separately. Well this toy is actually from 1996 so a bit of a blast from the past but uh, let's get it open and uh, let's see what it's like inside. Well, it's jam-packed full here, um, lots of bits and pieces, there's the McDonald's M, the arches there. I hope it comes with some instructions. Oh, that's the main base. Um, looks like here's the instructions here. They look pretty easy to follow. Oh, and on the other side as well. And we're, oh, we've got some stickers. Oh, wow, they look fun. Uh, stop slow. We've got McDonald's. Thank you, super size. All the people really enjoying their McDonald's meals. We've got Hamburglar there and Party Time with Ronald McDonald. And of course, we've got the fantastic Cobra. Now this is a Hot Wheels car. Let's get this out. Oh, oh it's really heavy. It's uh, made of die cast metal and the, uh, the bonnet lifts up there. Wow, that's a smart looking car. I can't believe how heavy it is. It's quite weighty. And the steering wheel's on uh, the left hand side. In the UK the steering wheel's on the right hand side so that's a little different. Uh, so let's put it together shall we? So uh, here we have the base and I've put together the car ports. This is uh, the garage here, just put on the garage door. And here the main part of the building clips on. So next I'm going to put the roof on should fit down there quite nice and easily. Uh, next we need the flag. Um, and ah, I need to put that in somehow. So here I've fitted uh, the ramp for uh, the drive through. Well, that's to, to drive out. And uh, let's put the McDonald's arches up. Should just clip in there, that's it. And we need a signpost somewhere, I think that goes on the back. That's it. And we need the ramp for the cars to drive through to come up to uh, the drive through there, that fits on quite easily and now we need the playground so uh, we have part of the playground there, let's put that on and we have somewhere to put the McDonald's sign I should think 
that in there and we have a slide. Right, so all we need now is to put together all the stickers. This is the fun part. And then we'll be ready for our McDonald's Hot Wheels drive through So now that all the stickers are in place then guys, all that's left to do is for us to drive our Hot Wheels Cobra up through to uh, the drive through and order our McDonald's. So once you've got your drive through meal, you simply just go through to the other window and there all the food is being prepared and there's the server. Ronald McDonald says thank you and off you go. Also there's a, a car park underneath if you wanted to stay and go into the restaurant. So car can be parked underneath there and ooh, staying there. <laughs> Doesn't want to stay. And uh, go through the double doors and up through to the restaurant. Lots of people enjoying uh, their hamburger meals or perhaps um, a chicken meal, whatever they wanted, or even their delicious McFlurries. And uh, if there are any children, there's uh, a merry-go-round to play on and a slide. So very pretty it is too, with lots of flowers all around. And there's even a part. So there you go then, guys. That's our fantastic McDonald's Hot Wheels drive through and uh, this is from 1996 and let me know if you've uh, had one of these toys in the past or indeed if you've even seen one of these toys so uh, do take care don't forget to like share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club bye for now Hey guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So today I've got a very exciting set of four vehicles to share with you, all Fireman Sam and all Diecast Metal. 
So this is what it looks like from the front and we'll just take a, a look at the back here and here's some other sets that you can buy. Okay, so let's take a close look at the vehicles. So first up we have Neptune. Next we have Hydras. And here we have the Mountain Rescue Vehicle. Lastly, we have Jupiter. Let's try the vehicles out with Ocean Rescue. Let's try the fire station. So there you go then guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the MG Tracy Club so that you can be sure to get the videos first. Also touch on one of the boxes that will appear and you can watch the next episode. And welcome to the MG Tracy Club. So today I've got an exciting toy for you or a collection of vehicles really. So this is um, from Pinder and it's a John Richard set of circus vehicles. So these are, are made by Majorette and uh, they're a French company. And I bought them in France on the way to uh, Belgium at the weekend and I thought these were interesting. So I just thought I'd share them with you. So uh, let's open them up, shall we?
There you go then guys, that's a collection of uh, circus vehicles. So you've got the transit van, and you've got a forklift lorry, and you've got sort of uh, an advertising vehicle there to tell people that the circus is coming to town. And you've got an off-road vehicle, and the back comes up on that one. Also in this set, you've got a collection of animals lion, tiger, elephant and a chimpanzee. So that's good fun and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and also don't forget to do that because you'll be in the MG Tracy Club then. So take care and I shall see you very soon. Bye for now. simulating a true style auto carriers uh, these are from tops toys and they're made of uh, die cast metal so they look great i'm going to open them up and uh, see how how good the quality they are inside and um, die cast non-toxic freewheeling top toys die cast metal collection are superbly modeled and painted replicas that gives hours of playtime fun collect the police team emergency squad army force, construction gang and so many more. Builds into a fantastic set. So yeah, sounds good to me. So uh, let's open up and take a good look. So here we are then guys, we've got the four vehicles here. Uh, all very different but all construction vehicles. So uh, just to give you a, a close up on this one. So this is a digger. Moves quite easily, you can see the die cast there. move no that doesn't move you've got uh, six wheels there on the back 
Uh, Heavy Duty 21 it says there, so that's a, a fantastic construction vehicle. So that's vehicle number one. Vehicle number two, we've got uh, a tipper truck here, or lorry I should say. Again, made of uh, die cast metal and plastic. And here we have another tipper truck with uh, a door on the back. That one tips right up, so that's a bit more, a bit more interesting. That one die cast metal again, and uh, plastic there for the container at the back. And my favourite, the cement mixer. So this is good fun. You can just turn it manually. Die cast metal here, and the rest is plastic. But the uh, the cement mixer mix, um, spins freely, so that's rather good fun. And uh, yeah, they so they build up into a really fun play set. And as I said before, that uh, there are there is a, a range of um, other vehicles to collect, emergency vehicles. So these are from Poundland. So um, yeah, a bit of a winner, I'd say. Uh, so Poundland does it again. Fantastic. So uh, do subscribe, take care and come back again soon. Bye Hi, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So I've been toy shopping in Fort Aventura and went, been to this really charming little toy shop in the town centre and I have bought a gift set of die cast metal vehicles and this is from the brand Siku and they're very well made of uh, metal and plastic parts I guess the uh, the rotary blades and the wheels and different bits and bobs are made of plastic but the rest is made of metal so we looks as if we have um, a sort of a, a construction vehicle with a ladder on or perhaps that's uh, the fire service would use that uh, as it has a ladder we've got a police riot van looks like we've got an ambulance here uh, we've also got a shuttle vehicle and if I turn it round, you can see there's a police helicopter. So I'm going to take them out and have a close look and see what they're like. And that completes our look at our set of interesting vehicles. Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So today I've got a Vancouver Police and Fire Department City Kit play set. It looks great fun, so let's build it.
for the emergency vehicles to be put away for the evening. So let's try the Vancouver Police Helicopter in Gate 1. And next the Police Force Riot Van Vancouver City Vehicle. That's going into Gate 2. And next we have the Fire Department Fire Engine going into Gate 3. And lastly we have the Vancouver Squad Police Car going into Gate 4. So then guys that's the Vancouver Police and Fire Emergency Vehicles playset. So then guys, click on one of the other panels to see one of my other Vancouver unboxings. Take care, don't forget to subscribe and come back again soon. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today I've got a fantastic fire station playset to share with you. This is no ordinary playset, this is a Vancouver Fire Department playset. The toy is made from die cast metal and plastic and has 20 pieces. So then guys, I think it's time to take it out of the box. Ooh. Have a look at what's on the side and on the back first. Very cool. And here we go. Wow, this looks amazing. I just have a sweep over the toy before I take it out of the box so you can see what it looks like all together. Lots of firefighters, helicopter, fire engines, fire station, and even a police riot van there in the back and we have a firefighter with metal cutters there. So the detail is amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at the Vancouver Fire Station first. then guys that's the Vancouver Fire Department Fire Station playset so be sure to subscribe and be sure to click on any of the videos that you see in the boxes and you can watch more Vancouver toy unboxings take care and bye for now
Goodbye. Tracy and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So I'm really pleased to share with you today the police headquarters, large scale, uh, sort of a city police centre really. We've got all these amazing vehicles, we've got uh, a helicopter, we've got uh, a police riot van there, we've got police squad cars and even a fire engine there on the side and uh, this is the place set here and it includes uh, Blitz Tactics, Super Police, Thunderbolt and we've even got the uh, police office down there and it's got a gas station on the floor so a really marvellous toy by the looks of it let's flip it over and see what the back looks like here we are, here's the back of the box but I've just noticed look at the handle, it says toys, toys which I thought was rather neat, I've not seen that before and uh, it's uh, Intelligence Toys, that's the uh, name of the company that produces this particular toy and it looks fantastic, we've even got palm trees included well there seems to be a lot to it so I'm going to get started and uh, set it all up so we, that we can have a good, good close look at it and see what it's all about Well it's huge and it's all going to fall out now. Wow, okay, so this is it. And we've got masses here to put together. Here we are then guys, well I'm a bit daunted really because there's absolutely masses of bits and pieces but hopefully I can find uh, some instructions and uh, that will help me. Ooh, looks like there's some railings there. Okay, and we've got uh, lots of other pieces all bound up together. So in the next shot you'll see it all put together and we can take a close look. Here we are then guys, we've got the... Uh, for the, the base to our um, police city we've got some instructions here actually three three sheets of instructions we've got pretty cool and oh wow look at this so here we go then guys this is the best bit we've got all of the stickers that you could ever want awesome okay and we've got the uh, the police name plate there We've got all the railings and the posts and everything that we need to put it all together. We've got, uh, what have we got in here? We've got cones and signs. It's another piece of the construction. Another piece. And here we've got the greenery. Looks like we've got the soldier in there. Yeah, not sure what he is, but there we go. And we've got some more construction pieces. So I'm going to be very busy. Something guys, I've put the bare bones together and uh, now for the fun bit, just to add uh, the signs and the stickers, so here we go.
So there we go then guys, I'm absolutely thrilled with our police city centre and this is a fantastic place set. There's still a few more stickers to put on but uh, I just wanted to give you the overall feel of uh, this particular toy and all we need to do now is to add our vehicles. And firstly we have our police helicopter so I just put that up there on the helipad and here we have various police vehicles so I think I'll just do a drive-by of these and uh, the police riot van fortunately they've spelled police wrong they've got the L and the O around the wrong way but never mind and the last vehicle is my favourite the fire engine so I've placed the vehicles around the place let's see if you can spot where they are And uh, before you leave guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends, I really would appreciate it. And come back again very soon to the MG Tracy Club. Take care and bye for now.